atom is held together by the attraction between the positively charged protons in the nucleus and the negatively charged electrons. But particles with the same electrical charges repel each other. Why doesn't the nucleus fly apart? The reason it holds together is because of the strong nuclear force, one of the fundamental forces in the universe. This force operates between the protons and neutrons at extremely short distances. Elements with atomic numbers from 1 to 20 often have the same number of neutrons and protons, but elements beyond 20 need increasing numbers of neutrons to hold the protons together. Beyond atomic number 83, no number of neutrons is sufficient to indefinitely hold the element together. When there are changes in the nucleus of an element, it is called radioactive decay, or radiation. The original nucleus of an element decomposes to form a new nucleus, and thus a different element, releasing radiation in the process. There are three types of radiation. Alpha radiation consists of helium nuclei, two protons and two neutrons. Beta radiation consists of high-speed electrons. And gamma rays are a very energetic form of light, similar to X-rays. It is gamma rays that are particularly dangerous to humans and other life forms. Scientists and technicians must be very cautious when they come into contact with them. But nuclear reactions are an essential and natural part of our universe. The energy that we receive from the sun is the result of fusion that occurs when two hydrogen atoms fuse together at high temperatures. This releases energy that radiates outward as electromagnetic energy that we call sunlight. Scientists are working on harnessing fusion reactions because they are a means of producing a virtually limitless, clean supply of energy. We have even been able to create nuclear reactions ourselves by splitting apart the nuclei of unstable atoms such as uranium in a process called fission. This is the energy released in atomic bombs and nuclear reactors.